Kia ora and welcome. My name is Ellen Rose and this is the Creative Cure to Boredom. I've created this channel to share and explore some creative approaches to art using everyday materials you can find in your own home. The hope is that it makes the current lockdown and isolation situation just a little bit more tolerable. Today we're going to have a look at turning shaving cream into marbling. We're also going to do a little bit of zentangle on top of that and a little bit of weaving with the paper. You'll also notice a tiny pair of hands helping me out. That is my wonderful nephew Bryce. He's helping with this activity. I hope you enjoy. So we've just got two uh, empty dish containers and we're filling it with some uh, shaving cream and just some food dyes and we're putting it wherever we want to put it in a bit of a random fashion and then we're using a skewer to zigzag some patterns into it. Now when we put the paper onto it it'll absorb straight away so we can scrape that straight off right after we push it in and that ink is set to the paper. So we'll put them to the side and we'll start on our second. So same thing we're just going to scrape off a little bit of that excess foam and we're going to put some new colours on, we're going to wiggle it around, and then we're going to print again. It's a really straightforward marbling process. I do have an extra bit of cardboard there on the side that I can scrape off the excess into for our third round. You can use different sizes or make them differently. And you can see I'm just using a spatula to uh, to clear some of that excess off. Uh, the spatula is great for clearing off the excess shaving foam from the pieces of paper as well because it's nice and flat. So we're just going to clean up quickly, clear the decks. Okay, so what did we do to dry it? We did a hair dryer. Awesome. And why do we want to dry it? So you don't smudge it. And now we can start with our design side of things. So you can see I've made some lines on the back there. And we're just cutting them up into the same sort of width pieces. And we're using two of our prints for this. And I'm just gluing down every second one on one side and then every second one on the other. As we thread them through, we're just doing the opposite of the one that went before. My favourite one is the one which I used all the colours. So for our next artwork, we're going to try to pick some of the lines that are in the shape that we printed. And we're going to try to make a design with that. Either zentangle or draw an image. So a little bit like looking at clouds and trying to make a shape out of it. So Bryce has found the sun in the top of mine and we're doing some quirky little houses on a hill. And Bryce has done a Decepticon ship. He's outlined the whole of his green sort of patterning there. And has decided that a wombat needs to live in the ground in my one. And we made it a tiger wombat. So 
So if you haven't tried Zentangling before, it can be really therapeutic. It's a really nice way to zone out. And doing something like the marbling effect beforehand just gives you some sort of negative space and some lines to work with uh, with those shapes if you're a little bit nervous about putting pen to paper. So I'm just finding some little swirls in my blue and I'm just filling them in with lines. So I decided to do another illustration of Zen Tangles in perhaps a little bit of a clearer fashion with one of the offcuts from Bryce's first piece, from the weaving piece. And you can see I'm just using the white space there to make almost like a grid. I hope you enjoyed watching us. So these are our final results. Uh, so I'll focus on the weaving first. As you can see with my weaving on the right, I've tried to be quite neat with it. So I've used all of both pieces of paper and have really tightened up those squares against each other. But I think it's far less interesting than Bryce's. So I think by missing out strips, so you have this gap in this right side, uh, and also using the strips in a bit more of a varied fashion, you get some really interesting mark making happening. So I'd recommend maybe trying to experiment with not being so neat and tidy and straight and ordered, but maybe just giving in to a little bit of experimentation. And with the Zen Tangle activity, we were first trying to find some shapes in the form and then we were trying to work back into them. Uh, Bryce's Decepticon ship uh, is certainly a quirky feature to behold. Uh, and with mine, it did turn into a much more sort of cartoon drawing than what I was intending due to Bryce's input at the time. However, I really enjoyed going into this little strip left over of Bryce's at the end and just doing some really simple Zentangle. I think that that's probably my most favourite thing about this whole activity was that tiny little strip of paper in the middle there. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'd be really interested to hear what you've done with this activity. The actual process of marbling with the shaving cream is extremely fun. It is a bit messy, so do wear gloves if you don't like to get ink on your hands. Uh, but you get a very quick result, so it's a very fast working sort of material. And these are just some ideas about what you can do with them. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Till next time, my name is Ellen Rose and this has been the Creative Cure to Boredom. Nami Hinui.